Hey, if you're a new woodworker, let me give you some tools that you do not need to buy. Let's dive in. All right, as always, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the podcast. So grateful that you're here. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you four really great tools that you do not need to buy if you are a new woodworker. So the first one is a JLT clamp rack system. A JLT clamp rack system, we'll show you here on the screen what that looks like, but this thing is such an incredible tool. It allows you to get so much done so much faster from a clamping standpoint, but you really don't need to buy that. Number two is a saw stop table saw. Saw stop, as you guys know, is kind of the golden child of the table saw category. Will save you your fingers, but you don't need to buy it. Um, it's an incredible tool. You need to stay away from it right now. The third one is a eight to 12 inch joiner. Having a really wide joiner bed like that is gonna allow you to really flatten your material in a great way, get boards really, really square. It's a total game changer as far as milling is concerned, but I probably wouldn't recommend that you buy that one either. And then lastly is a like 20 inch planer. You can get this in a Grizzly or a Powermatic. Great tool that you don't need to buy. And so I know as of right now, you're like, why are you giving me all these great tools that I don't need to buy? And that is because if you're a new woodworker, there are better places to spend your money. Now, are these tools incredible tools? Yes. Are they game changers for production? Yes. Are they going to make you a little bit more money because they allow you to, to get stuff done faster and more efficiently? Yes. But if you're a new woodworker, you need to be reinvesting all your additional funds into getting in front of more people if you're trying to grow your woodworking business. Instead of investing in tools your first three to six months, like I see most guys do, you need to get the tools that are gonna get you by, that aren't gonna break down on you, that are dependable. You know, a saw stop is anywhere from two to $4,000 based on what you get. A JLT clamp rack system, if you buy new, is eight to $12,000. You know, a 12 inch wide joiner is $6,000. A 20 inch planer is $3,000. These are expensive buys. And if you took all of that money and you put that into marketing and becoming known, you would actually generate enough sales to be able to actually justify spending that much money on all these tools. And so what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is most woodworking beginners are not wise and intelligent with allocation of funds. They do not allocate their money in the best places. And because of that, what ends up happening is they end up with a shop full of really great tools that are never running because they're never busy. That's the worst thing you wanna have is a shop full of super nice tools, a spotless shop that isn't ever making money. Right, so the goal, if you're growing a legitimate woodworking business, not a content business, but an actual building and selling products business, is you wanna keep that shop busy. You wanna keep your tools busy, and I would rather keep $600 or $700 table saw busy than have a $3,000 saw stop that I run once a week. That is not the goal. So, I'm gonna keep this video short, but what I wanted to talk to you about in this video was to change your mindset and change your frame of reference around where you need to be allocating your money if you're trying to grow a woodworking business. Now, do I love all the things that I mentioned? The JLT clamp system, the saw stop, the 12 inch joiner, the 20 inch planer, these are incredible tools and I love good tools, but these purchases should be coming later on in your journey after you are already hitting your production capacity, okay? So let me dive into that for just a second. So let's say that you're a one or two man crew in a, in a shop, right? Your production capacity is around $20,000 per month in let's say dining table sets. Well, until you're actively selling $20,000 a month, you do not need to be buying tools like this, right? You should be reallocating funds into marketing and awareness and getting in front of more and more people until you are generating the $20,000 a month. Then you wanna expand your production capacity with these types of tools. And so if you need help expanding your sales and growing and getting to the point where you're spending money on marketing and it works, be sure to check out the Woodworking Business Accelerator program. That is what we do. And so right now we've got almost 50 active clients inside of the Woodworking Business Accelerator program. We're growing like wildfire right now, helping tons of guys all across North America scale and grow their woodworking businesses predictably with sales and revenue. Therefore, it allows them to go do these types of things, make these types of purchases, and it is a total game changer in their journey to growing and scaling their woodworking business. So if that is you, you're looking to grow your woodworking business, don't spend money here yet. These are great things. Save your money, invest in becoming known. Just a quick reminder, it's not the best products that win, it's the best products that are known that win. 
So it's about becoming known. It's about getting in front of more people, attracting more attention, and whoever has the most attention usually wins the business game. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. If this helped you change your frame of reference the way that you think, be sure to leave me a comment below. If you don't agree with this, leave me a comment below. I would love to have a healthy, honorable debate in the comment section. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you soon.